once they exceed a certain temperature, they begin to decompose, and that decomposition process generates the heat, which ultimately gen potentially produces the fire. Did you know, this has been described hey. as intense fire. Can you talk about how they burn, and, and is there sort of a worst case scenario if there is an explosion, as like you talked about earlier, you know, how big, how big are we talking about? What's what's the worst case with this fire? Yeah, that, that I, I just, that would be all speculation in terms of how big a fire could be. Um, what we do know with the first container was that you know, the sheriff's department um, did some over some video of what was happening. The, the smoke plume, we understand, was 30 to 40 feet in the air, um, and they could see visible flames coming out of the container. Um, is that the extent of what could happen? We just can't predict. So. How hot does it burn? Uh, I don't know the temperatures at which it burns. Guys, do you know? Um, so we can try to get that information for you. Richard, you talked about shutting the plant down on Friday. Did y'all consider flooding in the placement of backup generators, and how often did y'all test the, the nitrogen backup system? Uh, how often do we test the nitrogen backup system? Um, look back at the yeah, I'm not sure how frequently we are testing that uh, equipment, um, but it certainly is maintained. It's a it's a it's one of our layers of protection to provide refrigeration to the cold products that we need to store. Um, the beginning of your question Flooding was about. I mean, you talked yeah, about emergency. Yeah, certainly we didn't anticipate having six feet of water in our plant. This is a, yeah, and this is really the issue um, that's that's led to the incident that we're experiencing now. I mean, it's. Um, is that is that some more popular? I'm not sure. Pardon? Can you answer why were people sent home from the rescue center? For those people living within the 1.5 miles and then gone and got again and evacuated the yeah. second time? Yeah, I can't comment on that. I don't know the uh, details around that. Uh, obviously, you know, the, uh, the, the fire marshal's office imposed the uh, one and a half mile evacuation zone. We certainly respected that. And we certainly encourage all of the residents that live inside that zone to respect that zone uh, for their own safety. That, if they returned back to their homes, they, they shouldn't have done that. And we, if they can still uh, evacuate safely, we would encourage them to do that. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.